Mobile devices are now common across almost all businesses, as they provide a variety of benefits for productivity and efficiency. These include the ability to work from anywhere, using smartphones, tablets and laptops. As enterprise mobile devices hold important business data, their security can be compromised if they are stolen or hacked. This has led to the development of policies and procedures that mandate the management of these devices within an organization's security infrastructure using mobile device management softwares. Mobile Device Management MDM, is a set of technologies that allow an organization to manage and secure the devices that are used by their employees. Mobile Device Management helps in managing the company's assets and the data stored on them. It helps to enforce rules and policies across all devices, from desktops to laptops to tablets. MDM includes features such as remote device locking, remote data deletion, and the ability to install and remove apps. MDM also provides a way for companies to manage the data on devices, including monitoring and other management aspects. So, in this video, we will demonstrate how to integrate and control policies of an organization's managed devices on Versus Secure Web Gateway, for secure remote access using Versus SASE Client. Versus SASE Gateways currently supports control of managed devices by integrating with Microsoft's Intune portal. Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based endpoint management solution. It helps organization to manage user access and simplifies app and device management across your many devices of employees, including mobile devices, desktops, laptops, and other virtual endpoints. To pull the compliance status of managed devices, Versus Secure Web Gateways needs to first generate an access token from Intune. To generate the access token, log into your organization's Azure portal, and from the app registrations note down the directory tenant ID, application client ID and the client secret credentials. To configure the MDM profiles on Versa Gateways, log into the Concerto portal using your valid credentials. Once logged in, double-click on your tenant organization, which in our case is SASE Org1. Next, click on the Configure tab, select the Secure Services Edge tab, click on Settings. From the drop-down select the Mobile Device Manager option. This will open the Mobile Device Manager Profile Configuration page to feed in the Microsoft Intune details. Normally, if this is the first time of MDM Profile Configuration, we will get a Add Service button to create the profile. But in our case, we have already created a profile, hence we can directly edit the profile. Click on Edit icon to modify the required details. Fill in the name of the profile, directory ID, client ID, and client secret saved from the Azure portal. Next, give the authentication domain as login.microsoftonline.com and the API domain as graph.microsoft.com. Next click on Save. This profile details will then be used to contact Microsoft's Endpoint Manager portal to fetch access tokens and get the compliance details of the managed devices. Versa Gateways can be provisioned with secure client access policies to control devices based on its compliance state from Intune MDM integration. To configure the secure client access policies, click on Configure tab and select the Secure Services Edge option. Next, click on Secure Client Access tab, and from the drop-down select the Policy Rules option. This will open up the Secure Client Access Policy Rule List page. Click on Add or Edit the existing rules. In our case, we are going to add a new rule by clicking on the Add button. On the Traffic Steering settings, select the option, App Sent to Versa Cloud Gateway, to push all traffic to the gateway from the connected Versa Secure Access user. Fill in the display message as, MDM Managed Devices Allow Rule. Click on Next and fill in the gateway groups as required. Proceed by clicking on Next. In the Client Configuration option, select the Secure Client Access Profile that should be tied up to the rule. Click on Customize under Client Controls. Fill in the Certificate Issuer as, Microsoft Intune MDM Device CA, and click on Next. Modify the EIP agent profile information if required, else proceed to the device status configuration. On the device status configuration, click on Versus Preconfigured Device Compliance State option. From the available options click on Compliance. 
Selecting the compliance option will allow the VSA client users to connect to the Versa gateways if the device compliance state is compliant. Click on Next and modify the EIP, secure endpoints if required. Next, on the user slash user group select the user slash groups for which the rule should be matched for. Modify the other available options as per requirement. Finally, fill in the rule name and save the configuration. Place the rule at the first for evaluation. This should have created the new secure client access rule. Next, to block non-compliant versus secure access client devices from connecting to the gateway, click on add rule to create a new secure client access policy rule. In the traffic steering option select the deny option. Fill in the display message as MDM non-compliant devices deny rule and click on next. Fill in the EIP agent profiles if required, else move on to the device status page. In the device status page, click on the versus pre-configured device compliance state option. Next, select non-compliant, in grace period, error and other options except the compliance option. Selecting these options will block connections from all devices that is not compliant as per the Intune's organization policy, even if the user credentials are valid. This helps enterprises to prevent access from non-compliant or rogue devices from connecting to SASE gateways, thereby enhancing the enterprise's security ecosystem. Click on Next and fill the other options if required, along with the users to which this rule should get applied. Finally, fill in the rule name and save the configuration. Place the rule at the top or after the rule which we created before for allowing compliance devices. Finally, create a default deny rule which should block connections coming from any devices that are not authorized by the enterprise's IT team. Select the traffic steering action as deny. Set the device status as type all devices. Save the configuration and place this rule at the last to prevent access. Prepare to publish the configuration by clicking on the Publish button. Select the appropriate Versa Cloud Gateway to which the configuration needs to be committed. Next click on the Publish button. Wait until the configuration push succeeds. Let's verify if the secure client access profiles are working as expected. We are going to register the users on Versa Cloud Gateway, with same credentials, but from two different end systems installed with VSA Client. The one on the left is a managed device controlled by Microsoft's Intune, and the other on the right is an unmanaged device. When we try to register to the assigned enterprise on the managed device with the same credentials, the client would successfully register itself to the Versa Cloud Portal Gateway. This can be verified from the display message. Whereas the unmanaged device would be denied access as per the secure client access policy rule on the gateway. This verifies that Versa Cloud gateways can coexist with Intune MDM to provide comprehensive security by preventing access from devices not authorized by an enterprise IT team.